The C programming language created by Dennis Ritchie is a versatile and powerful language known for its efficiency and flexibility. It provides low-level access to memory, making it ideal for applications that require interaction with hardware. And C is known to be the mother of all languages, like C++, Java, and Python. The C programming language can be used to build system software, like operating systems, device drivers, firmware, and embedded systems. Applications that require efficiency and high performance are written in C. Applications like compilers, databases, graphics, and network protocols are written in C. Also, C is used to develop games, due to its efficiency and ability to interact with hardware. As mentioned, C is used to build compilers and interpreters for other languages, like the Python interpreter called CPython is implemented in C for example. Security tools are built using C. Tools like antivirus, encryption algorithms, detection systems are built using C, due to its ability to manipulate low-level data and hardware interaction. C is a compiled language, meaning its source code is directly converted by the compiler to an executable file. C is also a statically typed language, meaning the programmer must specify the type of data the variable will store beforehand, unlike dynamic typing, which is guessed during runtime. One way of accessing memory in C is with pointers, which points to a certain value inside memory. Like this, you can directly access and change the original value in memory. Also, with the help of dynamic memory allocation, you can allocate and deallocate space in the heap using functions like malloc, calloc, or realloc. Both malloc and calloc are used for dynamic memory allocation, like here we are creating a dynamic array of 10 integers using malloc. Also, we use realloc to allocate or resize our array to add 10 more integers. At the end of your program, you should always deallocate the space created with the free function. The C programming language lacks object-oriented programming. However, C does support object-based programming principles, where you create a structure that has data members and function pointers, which you can create an object of this structure and use its members in the main function. The C++ language, which is a successor of the C language, does support OOP, which helps in organizing your code in classes and objects. The C standard library is a library of pre-written functionalities and tools to use in C programs. You can notice that there are header files we are including in the C program. These header files are built inside the C standard library. The stdio.h file provides us with input and output functionalities. Like the printf function is provided by the stdio header file that provides us output functionalities. We also have stdlib, which contains functions like malloc, calloc, and realloc, which we saw previously in this video. We also have the math header file, which provides us with math functionalities. The time.h file provides us with time functionalities, which is also used in generating random numbers accompanied with srand and rand. To get started with writing C code, you need to install the C compiler, which is called GCC. It is a common compiler with C++, so once you install it, you can pretty much get started with C and C++. You can head over to this website and install MinGW. This will provide you with the C and C++ compiler. After that, open VS Code and create a file with the .c extension. To write a simple hello world program, you first need to include the stdio.h file that provides you with input and output functionalities. Next, you need the main function, which is a very important function that acts as a starting point for the compiler. Next, use the printf function to display hello world on the console. And this is the C programming language. What do you think of this language? Comment below what is your favorite programming language. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to click on one of these end screens that will appear right now, and I hope to see you in one of these videos.